Andrea Bar uh, Ramirez, I beg your pardon, from Colombia. So you've got Tomic and Ramirez. Croatia taking on Colombia. The coach for Christina Tomic is Tony Thomas, the Croatian coach that's coached on many Olympic teams and coached Olympic gold medalists. On the other side, it is Rene Ferrero, the, one of the national coaches for Colombia, coaching his player, Andre Ramirez. You see Vargas on the screen, we're gonna call her Ramirez. That's what she wanted to go by, Andrea Ramirez. So that's where, why you're gonna see me calling her something different. We're gonna call her Andrea and Christina throughout this match. We're on a first same basis here at USA Taekwondo. We all come from, we're all family. With all of the athletes all over the world. So glad you're joining us here at the 2020 US Open Taekwondo Championships here at the ESP and Wild World Sports Arena in Orlando, Florida. And it is a Disney property, so we've been staying on the Disney property. Uh, it's just beautiful. We're so fortunate to be here. So glad you're joining us online. If you can't be here live with us in the arena to see how amazing this place is, stay with us. We've got action tomorrow and Sunday as well. So Sherman and I are going to give you tons tomorrow. Be a little more interactive over the next couple days. Going to get a little more involved on every side of it, but definitely giving you the finals here. And it's been a, a feeling out process, if you will, of this first of this first round between these two athletes, one from Croatia. But there's Tomic, and I've watched Christina Tomic fight throughout the afternoon and just finds ways to get points. And it sounds so obvious, but she just looks for different directions. You know, oh, it's not working here, I'll try this. That's not working, I'll try that. Now she's worked herself up to a three-point lead. One deduction and one body kick, and Tomic is, is, has herself a three-point lead against a little bit shorter Ramirez from Colombia. Great punch there, just just knows how to close, and it has, in, in, in all honesty, has probably scored 15 punches this afternoon throughout the whole day. So just really knows how to kind of slide in and time that right hand and does it well there. So so great round for Tomic from Croatia and Tony Thomas just gonna sit down and relax with her. As you can see, he's been in this position I over 50 times probably. They've just been in such clutch competitions over many, many years, many Olympics as well, so. On the other side, Columbia player, if I'm not mistaken, will try to go to the qualification tournament, which is just a few weeks away, and try to qualify in the under 49 kilogram division. So important match for her to try to get some confidence going in, to try to get herself where? To Tokyo 2020, that's where. Tell me what you can relax. It seems, seems like, you know, been around now for a long time and really, really understands the game, really, really, again, knows how to manipulate her foot to the right area, give herself the best chance to score round in and round out. And, and this so far has, has gone perfectly. It changes the angle. Launch angle was a little different. There's a nice short one. Follows with a little front leg hook kick to the head. Good follow again by Ramirez though. Just just barely missed that. I thought she scored that. Didn't get a high number on that threshold. And another touch. So Ramirez now finding the range against Tomic from Croatia. Good front leg hook kick underneath. Excellent cover, good interior defense by the savvy, strategic Christina Tomic from Croatia. Yeah, just kind of hanging her leg, cutting, kind of probing it out there, if you will. Looking for it, that's a nice little change to a roundhouse kick, but does a good job of showing her control with her leg. Snaps it out fast that time. This time kind of hangs it, great punch. Here comes the right hand again. Well, I, I talked about it early. She scored a ton of them early, and she's adding to that to that total here in this final of 5-0. Andrea Ramirez now is going to have to change things up a little bit as, as this pace seems to be super comfortable for Tomic here late in this second round of this final here. And again, this is again a 49 kilogram final. Good little change foot inside around his kick. Covered nicely by Ramirez. There's a punch, there's a follow, there's another follow. Good rollout and good movement, showing great side-to-side -side movement as Tomic here, there. So Tomic now has 
Their five-point lead covered out everything so far. So, Andrea Ramirez, that's a nice punch. See if she that, that gets herself on the board late here in the in the second round. So that should be a confidence builder for Ramirez. But can she add to it here late? That's going to end the second round. There you have it. Second round ends. 5-1 Tomic over Columbia's Andrea Ramirez. This is final number three. We have eight finals for you here this evening. So, so glad you're joining us here at the 2020 U.S. Open here in Orlando, Florida. Typically, the last few years, our tournament has been in Las Vegas, but now we, we changed it on you guys. We came out here to the Disney properties. Beautiful facility. Hope you get an opportunity to check out the parks. You know, and enjoy all the things that the Disney, uh, the Disney family has to offer. Just so much here. So take advantage of it here as we're offering you a great opportunity here at the U.S. Open in Orlando, Florida. Ten seconds left in the rest time. So much firing herself up just a bit there. We're going round three right here, right now. Winner takes home the title in the under 49 kilogram division of this U.S. Open. G2 ranking points on the line for these two ladies. International ranking points and very important. Nice front leg under, underneath by uh, Ramirez. Doesn't score it. Uh, just well, really well exit. There's another snapping point. Just really, really savvy shot by Tomic. Just finding it now. Just changing the timing, changing the launch angle, and ultimately scoring points with the same technique, but just different odds. Oh, sneaks up the axe kick. There's a nice follow and gets that one. And, 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 and there's a punch to follow that. So now you see. So much in a little, uh, little bit of a comfortable position here as Ramirez is, is in a little bit of trouble. Does get one there though, does get her one point back. So again, punches, that's a nice turn. That's beautiful as, she, as she's got herself four points. So a nice trap axe kick followed by the trap back kick and, and, and got a little momentum shift here with one minute left. So a minute ago, not even a minute ago, 30 seconds ago, Tomich was on cruise control at 10-1. Now it's 10-7. So the Colombian fighting herself back into this tournament and just doing work. That's another good punch. Digging yourself out of this hole. And it's anybody's anybody's match. Beautiful spin underneath. Trying to trap the front leg. Really well executed. But let's give let's give Tomich a lot of credit. She covered it nicely. Good interior defense. Found her way back in with a solid punch and stretched the lead back to four. Four points is not safe in any of these matches. We watched four point leads evaporate in five to 10 seconds all day long here at the US Open. And there's just interesting slip there. So a little bit, looks like a little bit dinged up. She can shake that off and she does, but it's only three points with 17 seconds. So again, found herself out of this match, 30 seconds. That's a beautiful cut kick. That's an important driving stabbing cut that's going to add that fourth point lead and again now one head kick won't do it but a spin will so she's going to have to take look for the spin just a few seconds left Tomic's doing a good job of, of keeping her leg and attacking almost uh, almost defense by offense and that worked perfectly as she frowns out this tournament with a win so congratulations to christina Tomic, who earns herself a gold medal 